friends, how's it going? My name is Nyx, and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video where we are continuing on in our magical mystery Minecraft mod pack. To continue on into the Feywild mod, we actually need to find a library that spawns in like the overworld and I kid you not, I have traveled five, no not even five, <laughs> I have traveled over like 15 thousand block to try to find this crazy uh, library and i can't find anything and it's a painful few days trying to find something for that to continue on so then we can finish the quest line go to the feywild dimension but we are unable to do that right now so i figured maybe we will start to kind of delve into another mod and i didn't know which one to dive into i thought maybe ours magica but then i thought something fun and interesting might be the hexerai mod it's like a witchery mod for minecraft get started by just placing some stuff down so in order to make the book of shadows we just need some leather a book some sage seeds dye and then animal fat it doesn't really say where you can get animal fat but i assume just from killing some animals because i haven't really done that so Let's go on a little adventure to find some animals because I don't want to kill the ones that I already have. I see some animals. Is it like just from pigs maybe? I wonder, it must just be from pigs. Let's just head back home. What's that over there? Oh, this just got some, some of these uh, gems in there. We'll have to investigate this mod too. Oh, that's pretty pink. Because I think we can like buff up our... <gasps> Whoa! 30% armor, 25% overheal, 25% lifesteal, or 6.5 armor toughness. That's wild. We'll have to figure out how to, how to put these in. Well, it doesn't seem like there's much here, but I will definitely be taking these lanterns. You're coming home with me. I don't like all the scary stuff. <laughs> Sounds. Why is there so much going on at once? I just want to survive the night. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know why that scared me. I knew those berries hurt. <gasps> that tree's on fire! Oh, that's really close to my house. Okay, so book, animal fat, sage seed, leather, 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 and a dye. The Book of Shadows! Oh, the dye is the color of the book. By dying the book again- Oh man, if I knew that, I would have made the pink. Well, we'll have to make another one eventually. <laughs> okay, so if we place the Book of Shadows on the altar, this is what it looks like. How cool is this? <gasps> wow! Welcome to the wonderful- witchcraft-filled world of Hexerai, where many of your desires, known and unknown, will be met to its fullest. Wow. Tons more content is yet to come, but this content will be from coven witches to casting spells to more familiars and much more. Wow. Like, what is this? This is so cool. Okay, how do we make a willow broom? Is it difficult? So far, there are three types of broom. This one being the slowest of them. These can be upgraded in three different slots, miscellaneous, satchel, and brush. To craft, you'll need a mixing cauldron in the items shown below. Mandrake root. So how do we get one of those? Okay, so it's found in the swamp biome. I don't think the Feywild mandrake will work, but let's just get everything else. I'm just gonna bring the whole thing with me. <gasps> Wait, which is boots? How do you make these? Infused fabric. Oh. How do you make fabric? Oh, just that's just black dye. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's our mixing cauldron. So this is what we want. Let's bookmark it. So we need two torches, an actual cauldron, and then some ingots. Wait, what's this? Dousing rod? Dousing rod is one of the first items a witch should look for as it points them in the right direction where they need to go. Crouch and right-clicking will swap the mode between swamp and jungle. Right-clicking will find a new position to in the closest biome. Oh, that's so neat. Okay, we'll make one of those. So we just need some leaves and a bunch of sticks. If the leaves are healthy, you are going the right way. Oh, <gasps> that's so neat. This is very cool. That could be dangerous. Oh, 
Uh, sorry, sir. That's so neat. Even in the hot bar, you can see the dowsing rod change. Mandrake. Mandrake plant. Ah, oh, and here's some willow logs as well. Fantastic. Ah, here we go. Okay, back to our house. Gamers, I've come to a revelation. We have to go to the nether. So in order to create the bottle of blood, we need to have a blood sigil here for our mixing cauldron. And in order to do that, we need some blackstone. In order to get the blackstone, we have to go to the nether. So I'm scared. I'm not really prepared for this. Okay, so we need some lava. So since the forest, oh wait, that's actually spreading. If I can get my broom, I can put out the forest fire. Very dangerous. This just shows the impending time pressure that we have. So I'm pretty sure there was some... I didn't bring my boat, did I? Some lava in a direction. I think there's some over here somewhere. Oh, I think there's some right up here. Perfect. All right, let's go back home, build that portal, and try to stop the forest fire. So hopefully I can find some blackstone really fast, get my magic broom going, and then save the day by flying high in the sky like the true witch that I am. Oh my god, look at the mini map. You can see how much of the forest is on fire, and it is very slowly getting closer and closer to my house. Let's go. <gasps> Rose Quartz? Oh my god. Okay. Wait, we're on a mission. This is so much more terrifying. I don't know where to go. Wait, are you evil? Oh! Uh... <laughs> I want to go home. What are you? Okay, no, we'll just take the side of the building. Okay, that was way easier than I thought. I think I really lucked out there. So, um, let's skedaddle. Uh -oh. Okay. We made it. How do I make the thingy? So, the mixing cauldron with a little bit of lava. I shouldn't do this in my house, actually. Or else I'm about to start forest fire part two. I'm panicking. Race against time. Wait. Oh my god. Thanks. Lava. Blood sigil. We need... Four blackstone, four redstone. And then it should mix and make its thing. So now that we got our blood sigil, we put that in the cauldron and I think I dunk myself in there a few times. Self-sacrifice. I love the forest, everyone. Okay, now what do I need for the broom? Okay, so we need the mandrake root, two blocks of gold, vial of blood, two willow logs, and then two wheat. Perfect. And just uh, some water. Let's do this. Let's save the forest. Willow a broom. And then... <gasps> we got it. Let's go save this forest. Away! Dun dun da da dun dun da da dun da 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 Don't worry, forest! I'm saving you! Okay, what's the best course of action for this? This is kind of... A little hard to control. <laughs> My God. Uh. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought it might have been. Okay, wait, how do you go down? How do you fly a broom? <laughs> ah! Okay, let's go. I must save my house. The broom is very hard to control. Wait, wait, where'd my broom go? Did I just burn it on accident? I feel like I did. <gasps> Mission's not over yet. I lost my broom. I'm coming, forest. Okay, we just got up there and I think we're good. The forest has been saved. I lost my broom in the process <laughs> that I just created, but you know what? That's okay, we'll just make another one. Once I get some more mandrake. So yeah, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!